Hello everybody, this is Katrina here from Inspo & Co. And today I am putting the brand that Glossier to the test. I am a huge fan of Glossier, if you're not familiar with it. It is a super awesome kind of cult following skincare and makeup brand. And their whole aesthetic is very clean, very minimal. They don't have all these crazy colors and options. Recently, when I went to New York Fashion Week, we actually stopped by their showroom and it was just as on brand and on point and aesthetically pleasing as their website is and it was so cool and I hoarded a bunch of goodies to bring home with me but then I kind of got to thinking that a lot of comments and reviews that I've seen on other Glossier videos and on their website um, questioned the like quality of their products on people who don't have perfect skin. So a lot of their products, because they're just lighter and they're gentler on your skin, it's harder if you have blemishes or acne to cover up those sort of things. But yeah, no one has perfect skin. I, sh I mean, I shouldn't complain. I generally tend to have fairly clear skin and always have just genes, genetics, um, and just luck, I guess, I don't know. Um, but sometimes, around certain times of the month, I end up also getting a few blemishes. And this is one of those times. So my face right now, it's totally clean. I just got out of the shower, and the only thing that I have on my face is a little bit of moisturizing oil, because my skin was so dry when I got out of the shower. But this is probably as blemished as my skin gets. I have acne here, I have a bump there, there's a bump above my eye, and then usually kind of around my jawline, I also end up getting these like teeny little blemishes. And none of them are like really crazy or like cystic acne or whatever, but they're annoying and they show. And of course, everyone wants to have like the appearance of clean, bright, beautiful skin, um, but we sometimes don't. And so I wanted to put these cult fan favorite Glossier products to the test and see if they can actually stand up to some real life stuff i.e. real faces, real skin, real blemishes, and see how great uh, they do. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to start with is the priming moisturizer. This is what Glossier suggests putting on your face first before you put on any of their other products. And so this one I've definitely had for a while and I've used it. That's why it's kind of a sad, crinkly tube. Um, but I normally just am pretty liber liberal with my moisturizer because I get, my skin gets so dry in the winter and we're hitting those sort of winter months. The next thing that it, Glossier suggests to put on is this is their Invisible Shield. It's a daily sunscreen and it's super cute. Um, cuter, I would say, than the uh, Prime Moisturizer because I love this little pop of color. Um, but it suggests that you put this on after you put on the priming moisturizer. So here's a little like, a little dot of it. Again, I usually dot, dot, dot. And then I rub it in. So next we are going to use their Perfecting Skin Tint. And so, like shake it up a little bit. It can kind of get a little like separated if you don't shake it up before you use it. I usually put some on my hand first, maybe like a quarter sized sort of splotch. And then I'm a huge fan of um, finger applying as opposed to using a brush because I feel like the warmth of your hands helps the product to kind of smooth into your skin. And so I'm almost gonna apply this similarly to as how I applied the sort of lotion. So the next thing that I'm going to put on is their stretch concealer. I'm just gonna apply this with my finger. It's a pretty solid, um, product as you can see. I'm just going to put dabs of this onto sort of areas that I feel need some extra help. Okay, so here's a little secret tip that I tend to use whenever I'm putting on concealer. I find that it works better if you let your concealer bake a little bit. And what I mean by that is 
Put your concealer on and then let it sit for a second while you focus on something else. It helps the concealer kind of warm into the areas of your face that needs that little extra help and it makes it look more natural once you buff it in. Glossier does not do mascara. They also don't do um, eyeshadow as of yet um, or eyeliner. And so if that was something that you wanted, you would be poop out of luck because they don't, they don't offer it. They, like I said, they prefer a little bit more of like a clean look. So these are more of like a highlighter so that you can do contouring, but you could also use these products to offer a little shimmery extra on your eyes. So this is in a color called Quartz and it's their Dew Effect Highlighter. And so I am just going to put some of this product on my eye, right from the tube. The next thing that I am going to use is their Boy Brow. So this is another product that a lot of people say that they like from the Glossier brand. Um, it is a brow tint, and I'm like the queen of brows. I love having bold brows. Um, so I'm just going to take this and then maybe little baby steps, comb it through my brow. Okay, so those are my brows combed through with the boy brow. I actually love this product. Um, it's great for days when you don't want to fully get out like a tiny little pencil or like really go through your brows and it stays and it lasts and it's pretty quick. So now that that's done, the very last thing that I can do is press in this concealer and then I'm going to finish with their Wowder. So this is also a newer-ish product um, from Glossier. This is in the color Light Medium and it's supposed to be just a sort of all over skin perfecting um, powder. And now, finally, what I'm going to do is put on some of their Balm.com. This stuff is awesome if your nose gets dry or your lips get dry in the winter. Um, I'm gonna put it on as sort of like a pre-treatment for one of their Generation G um, lip tints, which I love. Now I'm going to put on some of their Cloud Paint. I'm blending together Puff and Dusk. Uh, so I'm gonna put a little bit of those on my hands. You probably don't need too much. This is probably a little bit, a little bit extra. I love that. And then I'm just gonna put a little of it, a little bit of it. Seriously, like that was way too much to put on my hand. But like right on my cheeks and kind of buff that in. And then finally, I am going to put on some Generation G, um, their lip tints. This is in the color Zip. Their lip tints do not last extremely long. They're meant to be layered, they're meant to be buildable, but I will put on a lip tint in the morning and probably around a little after lunch. It feels like it's kind of gone off my lips. The only thing that I really do like about their lip tints is they're very nourishing and they feel really good to put on and the colors are really, really fun and the names are fun. And so I kind of don't care if around midday I have to reapply again. Um, that really doesn't matter to me, but if you are looking for a lip tint that lasts all day long, this is not the one for you. But I'm gonna put some on. And then just to totally finish off, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Halo Scope on my finger and I'm gonna hit the sort of like main areas that I want people to be looking at on my face. I'm gonna hit your chin right above your lip and then you can hit a little bit on the side of your cheek like sort of underneath where you put the cloud paint and you can hit the top of your brow like right there and just kind of rub that in. All right, there you have it. This is a full uh, face of Glossier. You can still see some of the blemishes here and then as we go along under my face, it's not like everything is totally covered up, but I will be honest, this blemish here that was really sort of sticking out is covered, and there was a really sort of nasty one above my eye, and I feel like that's covered up too. So overall, I do feel like it gives me the appearance that my skin is healthier and that it's more vibrant and it looks put together and it doesn't look like a ton of makeup. Um, it looks like I'm wearing makeup without, you know, someone being like, damn. I feel like I could go out like this and I wouldn't feel self-conscious about my, you know, blemishes or about my skin and all the products feel really good on my face. Overall, I 
think that Glossier can handle mildly blemished skin. If you had a full face of acne, you might want to start with your regular foundation and then you could probably use the halo scope and you could use louder um, over the top of it. So thank you so much for watching another Inspo & Co video. If you have any other reviews or products you would like me to try, feel free to comment below. I always love seeing what you guys are interested in. Have a great day and remember that you'll never be truly beautiful until you can accept your own imperfections. Love ya, see you soon.